welcome all some assigned number multiplication then what kind of algorithm will suit for signed binary numbers both algorithm can be implemented as shown in the figure here so it consists of n bit adder shift and subtract control logic so all those logics have been implemented by this alu arithmetic logic unit it implements all this either uh, addition of operation or subtraction operation or any other arithmetic shift operation so all these operations are performed by this arithmetic logic unit and in addition to this alu it has four registers b register which is representing the multiplicand and a is the accumulator to store the results and q is the multiplier and q minus 1 will decide whether we have to perform addition operation or subtraction operation so this is initially filled as zero this one and this accumulator contains a filled with zero b and q will be given in the problem so now we'll move on for the algorithm or the steps that has to be used to perform this booth's algorithm so initially we are going to load the accumulator content a and this q minus 1 as 0 where b will be loaded with the multiplicand bits and q is going to be loaded with multiplier bits and n is the sequence counter variable and uh, we'll have to regularly check the status of this q not and q minus 1 so both these bits are going to determine whether it is going to be a minus b or a plus b and the final result will be stored in a suppose if q not q minus 1 is 1 0 then we are going to perform a minus b if it is going to be 0 1 then we are going to perform a plus b so whatever b it is going to perform uh, addition or either subtraction finally we are going to perform a arithmetic shift right so at this point i would like to uh, define what is arithmetic shift right suppose for example let us take uh, the example as 1 1 1 0 so arithmetic shift right is because usually we have considered all these registers to be four bit registers i have taken the example of a four bit binary number so arithmetic shift right is we are going to retain the position first position will be retained and then we are going to shift towards right all the bits including the first bit so one will be shifted and almost retained so this is going to be retained the first bit alone retained and then it is going to be shifted right and again this bit will be shifted towards right so again one so this bit will be shifted towards right one this will shifted but since it will be shifted to right as zero but since the accumulator or any other register it can hold only up to four bits only this bits will be stored so this is nothing but arithmetic shift right so that we are going to perform and then we are going to decrement the sequence counter because it is four bit so we'll have to perform the operation until unless we are getting n equal to zero okay the same steps have been explained in the flow chart format so we are going to set uh, uh, q uh, minus 1 and a equal to 0 and then b is multiplicand q is multiplier so we can see here if it is going to be 0 1 we are going to add a and b and store the result again in a if it is going to be 1 0 we are going to subtract b from a so whenever we are going to do subtract b from a what we are going to do is so like it is a minus b so it is a minus b what we are going to do is a plus of minus b so we take the multiplicand because b is the multiplicand so this multiplicand bit what we are going to do is we are going to take two's complement of minus b is represented in terms of two's complement of b so suppose for example if b is 0 0 0 1 then the ones complement is going to be triple 1 0 and two's complement is we are going to add one more one so it is going to be four ones so this we should keep it ready whenever we are going to find out a minus b so then it will be very easy you are going to just add the accumulator content with two's complement of b this is going to represent a minus b a plus b we don't have any problem and then we are going to do arithmetic shift right and then until the count reaches 0 we are going to perform this operation we are going to see whether q not q minus 1 is 0 1 1 0 if it is uh, of with these both cases if it is going to be 1 1 and 0 0 then we are going to straight away go for arithmetic shift right no addition or subtraction is going to be performed 
now we will take an example and solve the multiplication of signed binary numbers using Booth's algorithm. So, what we are going to consider is we are going to consider 7 into minus 3 equal to minus 21 will be the final product. So, with this we can first differentiate what is the multiplicand. This is going to be the multiplicand B and this is going to be the multiplier Q. Okay. So, now what we need to do? We need to initialize the registers. Before that, we will uh, keep it ready with A plus B and A minus B we need. So, for minus B, let us take the version of minus B. So, minus B is going to be minus 7 since B is equal to 7. So, B is equal to that binary representation is 0, triple 1 and now we need to have the ones complementation of B is going to be 1, triple 0 and 2's complement of B is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1. So, 2's complement of B is nothing but minus b so where therefore minus b is nothing but 1 0 0 1 and now what we are going to do is we are going to keep a table to track the final products of minus 21 now we will start n equal to 4 bits and a is going to be loaded with 0 0 it is a 4 bit accumulator register and q we have q is nothing but minus 3 therefore q equal to minus 3 so, what is minus q? Minus q is going to be plus 3. So, what is plus 3? Plus 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. So, then q is going to be 1's complement of q is going to be 1, 1, 0, 0. And q is equal to which is minus 3 which is going to be 1, 1, 0, 1. Now, q equal to 1, 1, 0, 1. q minus 1 will be 0. So, this is nothing but initialization. And then what we are going to do is we are going to find out what is the value of q naught and q minus 1. So, this is going to be q naught. This is going to be q3. So, now to find out q naught this is 1 and q minus 1 is 0. So, if it is 1 0 what we are going to perform is we are going to perform a minus b and store the result in a. We know a is 0 0 0 so I am doing rough work in the side part and then we will fill it in the table and a minus b what we are going to do is a plus of minus b. So we know what is minus b minus b is 1 0 0 1. So a minus b is going to be 1 0 0 1. So this we will fill up here it is going to be 1 0 0 1 and the contents of q we are going to write as such now and this is a equal to a minus b and now what we need to do is we need to do arithmetic shift right of a q and q minus 1. So, therefore, this will become arithmetic shift right. So, we are going to retain this one and then we are going to shift it again 1 0 0 1 this one will come here and then 1 1 0 this one will come here. Now, the n will be updated to third cycle. Now, again we are going to check for q naught and q minus 1. It is 0 1 0 1 then we are going to perform a equal to a plus b. Now, the contents of a is 1 double, double 1 double 0 and b is going to be 0 triple 1. So, just add both these things 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 discard this carry because it is only a 4 bit register. So, now what we are going to do is we are going to update it here. This is going to be 0 0 1 1. We are going to bring down the contents of uh, q as such and q minus 1 will be the same one. And now what we need to do is we need to do an arithmetic shift right of a q and q minus 1. So, arithmetic shift right 0 will be retained again 0 1 more 0 1 1 1 1 1 this 0. Okay. Now, what we will do? We will just reduce the number of cycle as 2 and now the final part is 1 0. So, again what we need to do is we need to perform a equal to a minus b. We will write the previous one we had it is 2 
and it was triple zero one and four ones we had and then zero we had and now what we need to do is we did this after we got this after shifting a q q minus one now we need to have it in hand because we need b which is zero triple one and we need minus b which is one zero zero one and now what we need to do is we need to check for q naught and q minus one so this is q naught q minus one it is one zero so again what we're going to do is a equal to a minus b so just take a a is zero 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 one and this minus b minus b is thousand one so just add one one zero one one zero so this is what we are going to update in a and q will be retained the same now what we need to do is we need to go for an arithmetic shift right so it is going to be one one zero one zero one 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 and this one will come here this is because of arithmetic shift right of a q and q minus one now you can very well see here that q naught and q minus one are one one for one one and zero zero just straight away we are going to go for arithmetic shift right and here we will have to reduce this to one okay so now what we are going to do is just straight away go for arithmetic shift right of a q and q minus one so now what we are going to do is one 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 zero and then this one will come here zero one 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 now the number of cycle would have become zero so since n equal to zero we will stop here so and we'll check the final product whether we have got it correct so the final product will be always stored in a and q so that is enough so we are not going to consider q minus one because n cross n we'll be getting two n bit so four cross four we have got eight bit so now what is triple one zero one zero double one so that we have to check I have taken the final product we need to check whether it is minus 21 before that I will just give you a quick note for finding out whether it is minus 21 or not so first part is if the sign bit is 0 so which is the sign bit this is the sign bit so the first bit most significant bit if sign bit is equal to 0 then calculate the decimal equivalent of the binary number directly so whatever given binary number we will just go for direct calculation of decimal equivalent suppose if the sign bit is going to be equal to 1 then it is a negative number so for negative number what we need to do is to get the magnitude part because for negative number we will have two parts one is a sign bit and the other part is nothing but the magnitude bits so we need to get the magnitude bits right so to get the magnitude part we are going to calculate two's complement of the binary number so we are going to calculate the two's complement so now since we have got the sign bit as equivalent to one now what we are going to do is so for this one we will represent the answer in terms of minus so that minus sign is fixed because of this one okay so don't confuse now we need to take the whole final product and take the two's complement so now the whole product is triple one zero one zero double one so the one's complement is going to be 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 so now we are going to add 1 to get the 2's complement so 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 now you can tell whether it is minus 21 or not so just uh, give the radix number so this is going to be 2 power 0 so 2 power 1 2 power 2 3 2 power 4 so what is 2 power 4 2 power 4 is 16 2 power 2 is 4 2 power 0 is 1 
so this will give you 21 and this 1 is going to give you this negative sign so therefore the answer is minus 21 and what we had the initial problem is 7 cross minus 3 so 7 cross minus 3 which is a negative number minus 3 is a negative number and we have got the result as minus 21 using Boots algorithm. The consolidated table of the previous uh, solved example is given here. Thank you all for watching this video through Electronics Insight channel.